Hi guys, Craig here from React Appliance Repairs. And during this difficult time with coronavirus, obviously we need to have all our machines working. There are only a couple of things that you can do yourself on your machine without actually needing the assistance of a qualified technician or someone who knows what they're doing. But if you're good with your hands, I'm gonna help you today and guide you uh, with a problem on a front loader with regards to not draining. Um, majority of the time not draining, there's something stuck in the pump. Uh, if it's more serious and you have a drain pump problem or you have a PC board problem, obviously that you're going to need to get the professionals in uh, and you're going to need spares for. But if you're stuck at home and you're not able to obviously have a technician come out because you're in lockdown, uh, this is going to be the simplest solution for you to do yourself. Um, all you're going to really need is if you've got a, a flat screwdriver, and maybe a water pump pliers um, to start this to check your pump I'm going to show you now what you need to do obviously I'm checking this at home because I'm in lockdown so I'm going to be using my own machine in my own kitchen and uh, guide you through it so if you look at this machine now um, on most front loader washing machines you will have a filter section uh, this is normally where your your filter is for your drain pump only time you'd go in here is if you find that the water's not draining out your machine and it's not going into a spin. So you would use either the uh, flat end of a flat screwdriver, uh, just put that in there and pop that down and then that should come off. Uh, some of them just pop off, some of them will actually be square and they'll just come open like that to you and you'll have access then to the filter. This you can unscrew anti-clockwise. Um, normally what I do then is I, when I've unscrewed it, I clean the filter, I check inside, also take a torch, maybe just check with the torch inside to see if there's anything blocking the, the, the filter area. Um, what some of the machines have is they will have, this one doesn't have it, but they'll have a little black pipe here, which you can pull out, you can pull a little black pipe out and you drain the water because there's always a little bit of water in the sun. Now, first and foremost, what I should have said to you is safety is always the most crucial thing first. So unplug the machine um, from the wall, from the power supply, so that you know there's no power to the unit at all. Look, there's no power mm -hmm. to the drain pump uh, in this stage, but at the end of the day, you are going to want to be safe. Um, and that's the first most crucial thing. So unplug your water supply, then go down, take the cover off, unscrew this. Um, if you've got the hose, you can drain that water out. What I would do in this instance is normally I would then, I would tilt this machine back. So I'd put a cloth on the top of my counter and then I have moved the machine slightly forward. So I tilt the machine back. The reason for this, and then I just lean it gently against my counter. The reason for this is that then most of the water is now lying inside the drum. It's not going to all run out when you unscrew here. Then you take another towel. I've got one here. This is a bit small. Uh, you put this towel down here. And then you unscrew the filter. Unscrew the filter. It's going to be a bit of water. If you find that the filter is too tight and you can't unscrew it, then there's more than likely something stuck like a wire or a pin or a coin that's causing that pump filter to be jammed in there. Then I'm going to show you how you're going to have to go from underneath and remove the sump hose that goes to the side of the pump. Pretty straightforward. If you've got a pliers, you should be able to do that fine. So you're going to unscrew this. You're going to pull this filter out. My filter is, looks like it needs a bit of a clean. You take a torch and have a look inside there and see if there's anything stuck in there. There shouldn't be. Um, if, you've, if, you're just, if it's uh, draining, okay. And then normally what I do is I just I clean this filter. I clean the, I clean the actual, sorry my video is probably not the greatest, I clean off the area where the, the seal is on the, on the filter itself and I clean the area where it goes back in and then I put that back in, you tighten that up and just dry the floor area so that you've got no water in your way. And then you would take the filter cover, you would either close it, clip it back in, or in this case, on this model, you would just clip it back on. I'll just dry there. But now, if you have a filter that doesn't want to unscrew, you'll have to go in from underneath. So you'll find it over here. That is your, your sump hose. There'll be a clamp. Hold that on, you just pull that, you just 
grab it with your pliers, pull that hose off, and then you'll be able to get hold of anything that's perhaps stuck in from the sump hose side, um, and then be able to free it. Just put that hose back on again. I hope you can see okay. Um, and then you would test the machine. What I also normally do is, once I've put it back down again, obviously you can only test it when the machine's down. You put the machine back down again, and then you make sure that over here where you've opened your filter, that there's no water leaking through there uh, once you've put your filter back when you've opened it up. Okay, great. So, hope that's going to help you. Any other questions, you're more than welcome to drop me a message on Facebook or even on LinkedIn. I'm on there as well, um, or Instagram. All right, best of luck and stay safe during this time.